Welcome to this edition of How To Q. The plan is to add LEDs to kind of the back of this console table. I'm gonna cut a groove in it and put in those LEDs. I'm pretty excited about it. You can click on the links for how I added an outlet to this table, how I built this table. Those are up in the corner, so check it out now. Here are the LEDs that I bought off Amazon. You can control it through a little remote or through the Wi-Fi via your phone. Plenty of features I'll show throughout the video. Here I am, of course, unwrapping it. This plug was probably the worst thing about it. Everything else was great. The first thing you really want to do is take everything out of the box, make sure you have it, and then plug it in before you start installing it wherever you're going to install it. So I'm running through those steps right now. Whichever LED you decide to go with, it's probably got an app, especially if it hooks up to Wi-Fi. Here I've just hooked up to the local network that it emits, and I'm making sure it works and everything works great. Now back to the console table. I'm using a router table to route a 3 8 inch groove into the table. I should have used a handheld router, but oh well. Here I'm drilling a hole so I can feed the electrical cord through the table because I'm going to set up all the wire underneath. I prime and I paint that area and now it's time to hook it up underneath. I wanted the LED strip to sit down in the console table so you could put things on top of it if you wanted to, or more importantly, wouldn't tip things over when they were placed on top. I really could have used a half inch track for this. It was kind of a tight fit to fit this strip in. Now that I've measured it out, all LED strips have a place you can cut it. I'm pointing that out here. I take it back inside and I cut right along that line in the LED strip. Then I go back outside and I just make sure it's fitting properly. You'll show me making a few adjustments, but it fit really well. To secure the controller and the cord underneath the console table, I use these coax nail-in clamps to snug it up tight against the bottom. These LEDs do have a tacky side to it. You just peel that off and you can stick it anywhere, but as you've seen in other videos, it doesn't really stick that long. So I recommend Scotch Outdoor Mounting Tape if you need to mount it to the underside of something. My LEDs fit in that track really snugly and it worked out great, but I did use that mounting tape to secure the controller as you can tell from here. And here I'm just cleaning up the rest of the bottom of that console table with those coax nailing clamps. They work great. Um, I want to keep some of that extra cord so I just looped it here and it worked out fine. And here is the finished product. It's pretty much ready to go. Now I just need to plug it in and finish securing that tape along that track. Obviously that's what I'm doing here. Here's just another view of how I integrated that LED strip into the console table with that track that I cut. I wanted to show how I hooked up my LED strip to the Wi-Fi. And the reason I'm showing this part is when I initially pulled it up, I could not find the device on my phone. So the most important part of this video is how to reset your controller. If you unplug this and plug this in somewhere else, you will have to reset your controller. Mine was plug and unplug four different times, one to two seconds only. Any less or any more, then it doesn't reset it. And now that I've reset it, there is the controller there. Once I connect to that, it allows me to connect to my home router. My home network is the limited one. 
there's a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5.0 gigahertz router connected it to it. These LEDs will only connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. That took me a while to figure out and would have saved me a lot of time. So just watch that when you're connecting your LEDs to your Wi-Fi network. And once you connect to that 2.4 gigahertz network, you should be ready to go. I entered my password and connected and I was good to go. Make sure you read the directions on your LED strip on how to connect this via the Wi-Fi. This was actually pretty easy. Again, remember how to reset that controller. Now I'm just double checking that it works and I'm also showing you some of the features that these LEDs have. All these features are accessible through the app. Here's the color wheel, any kind of color on there it'll show. This is kind of the different hues of white that you can get out of it, sunset, bright light. And then it'll also strobe, it'll alternate colors. You can speed up the strobe, slow it down. One feature I didn't show was that it will also sync to music. Heaven forbid I use copyrighted music on a YouTube video. Those are some of the features and there's even a feature that will sync the LEDs to your voice. Check this out. Subscribe to How To Q. You can also run your phone over any color and the LEDs will sync to it. Here's a red pillow. Here's a white pillow. Alexa, turn on Davis LED. Okay. Alexa, make Davis LED red. Okay. And here's what the LEDs look like after I installed the table. One of the coolest features of these LEDs is hard to illustrate. As long as your LEDs are hooked up to Wi-Fi, you can turn them on and off and manipulate them from anywhere in the world. So for security reasons, or if you wanna screw around with your family and friends, there's that option too. If you wanna see a video on how I hooked up Alexa to this, how I built this console table, and a lot of other DIY videos, if you subscribe, you can check out those. Feel free to make comments. Definitely like, please. That is it from here. I'll sign off. We'll see you on the next edition of How To Q. Thanks for watching.